Austin the breather at second and ten. Hit as he throws. Nice catch again. Then he lost the football. It's incomplete. He didn't come down with it. Didn't have the foot on the ground. And it was Rosario who was hit hard. And EZF will come up and smack you, but this is, you know, this is a tough catch. But Rosario got a little Rosario got a little lazy as he returned to the turf. And all of a sudden you're looking at third and ten. And two plays that maybe should have been made by the wide receivers. This one's picked off. No chance for this. Still up along the far sideline. Michael Kendrick's going to go all the way for six. 68 yards for Kendrick's, the sophomore from Fresno. Now this is Logan Paulson and he's going to be wide open down the field. All Kevin Prince has to do is put a little air under the football. He throws it too flat. I look at Paulson. Paulson might have walked into the end zone and Kendricks reads the eyes. Now watch the look. Let's go ahead and freeze it right there. Freeze it. Wow. I mean look at him right here and Kevin Prince is going to have to talk to Rick Neuheisel and Norm Chow about that play. That was an opportunity to make this game a one score game and give Kendrick some credit. Not only does he make the play but he made a heck of a return. Well for all the positive things that Kevin Prince has done today and he's put up or helped put up 26 points for UCLA that that was a play just a moment ago that was very costly and uh, a play David that he should have made well and I don't think there's any doubt that he saw Kendricks on his radar screen right here and watch the freeze and all he has to do is just put a little air on the football and he alligator arms it he short arms the throw that's a miss throw that's not a matter of him failing to pick up Kendricks in his vision that is a poorly thrown ball and that was an opportunity for UCLA if they don't score Paulson is definitely in the red zone. 